we learned that ions gain or lose electrons, but electrons can also be shared between two or more atoms. Atoms that share electrons bond together to form larger chemical substances called molecules. Molecules can contain two or more atoms of the same or different elements. Molecules come in a wide variety of sizes. They can be very small, consisting of just two or three atoms, such as oxygen gas, water, and salt. However, molecules can get much larger, made up of dozens to hundreds or thousands of atoms, such as glucose, fatty acids, and DNA. A molecular formula is a symbolic way to represent the kinds of elements and number of atoms of each element that make up a molecule. For example, H2 is the molecular formula for one molecule of hydrogen gas. The subscript 2 represents the number of atoms of hydrogen in the molecule. In the molecular formula for carbon dioxide, CO2, one atom of carbon is sharing electrons with two atoms of oxygen. We don't include a subscript of one if there is just one atom of an element in a molecule. If a chemical substance contains atoms of two or more different kinds of elements, it is called a compound. Water, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, and sodium chloride, or table salt, NaCl, are all examples of compounds. But wait, didn't we just learn that water and carbon dioxide are molecules? Yes, we can state that all compounds are molecules, but not all molecules are compounds. Molecules that contain atoms of only one element, such as hydrogen gas, H2, nitrogen gas, N2, or oxygen gas, O2, are not compounds. Free radicals are another example of a relationship between atoms and electrons. A free radical is an atom or group of atoms having an unpaired electron in its outermost electron shell. They can form through a variety of ways, including exposure to ultraviolet radiation through sunlight, x-rays, and normal metabolic reactions inside the body. Oxygen gas, as shown here in this electron dot diagram, is a stable molecule containing paired electrons in its outermost shell. An example of a free radical is superoxide, which is an oxygen molecule with an extra unpaired electron in its outermost shell. It's symbolized by adding a negative charge superscript to the molecular formula for oxygen gas. Because of this extra electron, free radicals are unstable and highly reactive. They often react with and break down other molecules. To become stable, a free radical can either gain an electron from another molecule to form an electron pair, or it can lose its unpaired electron to another molecule. Both of these forms of electron exchange can lead to the destruction of the other molecules the free radicals are interacting with. Free radicals are often associated with health issues. For example, oxygen-derived free radicals are linked to cancer, diabetes, heart attacks, atherosclerosis, arthritis, and the breakdown of cells that occurs over time through aging. A diet rich in antioxidants, such as zinc, vitamins C and E, and beta-carotene, found in a variety of fruits and vegetables, are believed to reduce the damage caused by free radicals.